to John Piper in his book, Desiring God, selfishness seeks its own private happiness at the expense of others. Love seeks its happiness in the happiness of the beloved. It will even suffer and die for the beloved in order that its joy might be full in the life and the purity. I tell you, I would say it's Tim McGraw's song actually says it the best. Always be humble and kind. This course goes, hold the door. I see that in you, Frank, holding the door. Say please, say thank you. Don't steal, don't cheat, and don't lie. I know you've got mountains to climb, but always. I can say that for any marriage. Because in marriage, there are always mountains to climb. You climb them together. And you always remember to stay humble and kind. You've been given a great gift that God has given you someone to climb the mountain with. God is always with you, but now God's given you someone down there to climb the mountain with. And I know that you see in each other a wonder. Because when you look at each other, I see the true essence of you. I see the way Jesus felt about his church. <clears throat> For Jesus was the, the groom and the church is the bride. And Jesus died for each and every one of us. That's the gift. And I know that you, the one of you would die for the other one. I've seen it. I've seen the sacrifice. But I do want you to know that this is only the beginning and the sacrifices don't end here. Just because you say I do, they actually start again here when you say I do. And you know, I've always said, and I will continue to say, I do not believe marriage is a throwaway. It's a gift from God meant to live eternity together. God meant for us to be as one. With God in the center, you have three strands that are binded together. And as long as you always remember that each of you is a gift from God, given to the other one with God in the center, you will always have the three strands you need to make the strongest work to be able to visit the entire world. And now, for as much as Linda and Frank have consented in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and his company and thereto have pledged their faith to each other and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings. I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure deep pleasure to be able to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Frank Schweitzer.